have a preferred supplier to uh, that you go to for, for your latex? Absolutely. Um, so there's two main uh, latex roll suppliers, mm -hmm. both based in England, like 20 miles apart from each other. Mm -hmm. um, so you got Radical Rubber, um, their stuff's cheaper. Um, they don't do as many colors. Mm -hmm. um, they are the sister company of Libidex. Oh, okay. So they supply Libidex. Like, oh, fantastic. That's why that exists. Yeah, so I normally go for um, Supertex. Okay. Um, their, their main deal is they're a medical supplier, so they do all like dental dams and oh, wow. all sorts of weird mumbo jumbo yep. for uh, like surgical stuff. But then they also do, um, they just sell it by the meter. Right. Their stuff's like super consistent, mm. not talked as much. Um, and they also have a I don't know how they're doing it. I'm pretty sure when it's manufactured, there's like two rollers. Mm. She goes through the middle, press yep. it together. Yep. I'm pretty sure they've got one like super polished roller and one that's a little bit rough. Mm. So that when it goes through, you get that really perfect polished top, top layer. layer. Yeah. The bottom layer is really good for gluing on. Right, right. Um, you don't tend to get that on, on Radical. It's right. kind of the same on both sides. Mm. So you mentioned that that was rolls. What about when you're talking about sheet latex? Yeah, so. Um, couple of other manufacturers of sheeting. Mm. Um, you've got Yummy Gummy, who make the really cool uh, Galaxy stuff, mm. and the Marble stuff. And the, uh, the uh, leopard print. They leopard have, they have print, a green, yeah. and, uh, green and black leopard print. And I'm like, we got to make some dresses for Club Free. Yeah, that shit. Yeah, she's pretty cool. Um, mm. Does She's really good with communication. Like She gets back to you like, immediately. Yeah, cool. Um, they kind of come in like a 1.2 by 1.2, mm -hmm. um, which is great if you're doing like skirts and stuff. I find it's not quite long enough for when yeah. I'm doing a big dress, because I mean, I like to have my seams in, yeah, in, the, right in the right spot. Mm. But yeah, um, you can make some really cool stuff with that. Mm. You've also got Rubair, who are mm. Russian. Mm. Stuff comes in a burlap sack, which is pretty cool. <laughs> Let's decamp to your studio room. Extraordinaire, Wonder Woman, and like all around Fox. <laughs> we kind of just hung out and kind of we were pretty good friends. But then, so fast forward like three years, um, we're on. Emily does a bit of modeling mm -hmm. um, back in the day, semi professional, amateur, mm -hmm. fun hobby to do, um, and decided to get some latex to shoot in. Um, and she put up some pictures online, and I was like, holy crap, uh, you, like, you like latex too? She was kind of like, yeah, actually, I'm kind of really into latex. And I'm like, holy crap, how have we never talked about this? Because like, you know, I'm mm. freaking into latex. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we kind of just talked and talked and talked and got closer and closer. And then we're like, I actually really like you. Do you want to like go out? <laughs> the piece that Aubrey saw was something we still have. He's had to repair it for me since since I originally purchased it back in around 2012. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's what, seven years old, which is seven years longer than most things last. Mm -hmm. mm. That's actually a really good life for a latex piece. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, yeah. most people would kind of just buy and expect to wear it once or twice and, yep. and dies. So like, this is the actual, this is the piece. Oh, um, wow. So very sparkly, you know, matches, oh, wow. matches Emily very well. Um, mm. Has a lot of bows, is very cute. Um, basically just a bra and- Can we lift it up? Let's get a look at it. <laughs> bra and girdle set. Gorgeous, that's beautiful. This is a set that we got from, uh, that I ordered from Black Sheep Latex, who mm -hmm. specialise in chlorinated stuff. Mm -hmm. um, because being my first piece, I did a little bit of research, wasn't quite ready to pay Westwood down taxes. Mm -hmm. And um, I stumbled across Black Sheep Latex mm -hmm. um, for a while before Aubrey started making it. That was explosively what we had. Mm -hmm. Helen's super cool. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, she's really nice, she's based in the UK. Um, Still tight for occasionally, she does a lot of stuff for like Masumi Max now. Um, yeah. She got famous. Yes, yeah. For good reason though, she does good stuff. Yeah, so that was that was part of the outfit I wore that uh, sparked our uh, 
getting to know each other a lot better. You just mentioned that that was chlorinated. For the people that don't know the difference, what is chlorinated? And you mentioned before vulcanized. What do those two terms mean? So basically, um, a rubber molecule is a, I'm going to mispronounce this, an aliphatic, mm -hmm. I'm going to go with that pronunciation. Sure. Aliphatic hydrocarbon mm -hmm. basically means you've got like a hydrogen, hydrogen, and like shitloads of carbon atoms in a spiral. Mm -hmm. Big long chain. Um, Chlorinated latex mm -hmm. is basically that chain, but you stick a chlorine and like another hydrogen on top mm -hmm. and on the bottom. Uh, that basically seals off the latex. Like it okay. doesn't, doesn't stick to anything. It, um, the the top half of it becomes a neoprene oh, I see. Atom, uh, molecule. Sorry, inside of, instead of a latex molecule, mm -hmm. for lack of a better way of describing it. Mm -hmm. um, so, which basically means it doesn't stick to itself. Um, it's a bitch to glue. Mm -hmm. um, and when you go and actually make it, so you you have to make chlorine gas to coat the surface of it. It's super deadly to do, but it means you don't have to put lube on to stick it on. So yeah, it wears a lot better. You have less issues with pinch points. Um, so mm. particularly in your longer garments, so like your long sleeve shirts, leggings, that sort of thing, uh, that's where a chlorinated garment is really good, um, just because you don't get the that pinch rash. You don't get the pinch mm. there and there. Or like the, um, like you've got the hickey mm. right there. So it catches the blood vessels in the skin, huh? Yeah. Okay. And it catches. Yeah. Mm. The other downside to chlorinated latex is that it doesn't hold a shine as well as like traditional unchlorinated latex. Mm. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell, but this has actually been uh, shined with some silicon shiner. Doesn't quite shine as much as, say, like what Emily's wearing. Yeah, you can notice the difference. Yeah, wow. Okay, and vulcanized, what's that? So, vulcanization is mm. basically just uh, sticking two bits of rubber together and, mm -hmm. uh, for lack of a better word, curing it. So yep. There's cold vulcanization and hot vulcanization. Mm -hmm. Hot vulcanization is literally where you apply heat to kind of melt the rubber mm -hmm. and to cure it. Cold vulcanization is where you apply pressure. So, if you've ever done like a bike tube patch on like your BMX or like your Huffy or um, on an inflatable like uh, swimming pool, that's cold vulcanization. That's pretty much how latex clothing is made. So, you cut out your piece of latex, clean it off so it's just latex, no talc, no oil, no silicon. Apply a very thin layer. That's like the key. Like if you put too much late, uh, put too much glue on there. Um, very thin layer of glue. Let that go off. You apply it, stick it down, put pressure. Mm -hmm. Bam! That's it. You basically you've got. Say if you're making a 0.4 sheet latex, it'd be 0.4. Mm -hmm. The scene is 0.8 of latex, and then back to 0.4. So if you were to stretch it, like you can go like this, it'll break basically anywhere. Except for the seam. The seam it's usually about yeah. yay shy of the seam. Yeah, yeah, it's like just more yeah. In this case, bright green. This is a Kawasaki outfit. Mm. I look at my ZX7 every morning when I go to work. I uh, I jump on my crappy 1200 Bandit and leave the uh, really nice ZX7 at home. Um, but yeah, like so, I like the things that are around me. So on my way to work. So I've gone past my green ZX7. I go past a bright orange WA uh, government railways locomotive, bright orange. Next to it's a, another bright orange uh, West Trail locomotive. Um, that showed up in another one of my dresses, or well, a couple of my dresses actually. I've got the uh, the blue one, the blue off the shoulder one. I've got the orange uh, skirt and top with the ruffles, which turned out way better than I expected. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll ride past the blue boat shed most days, um, see all the Asian tourists. <laughs> um, yeah, so the next the next big dress I want to make, I'm thinking big uh, transparent blue is going to come off the shoulder, probably have some sort of um, flowing um, shoulder piece like this. Uh, transparent blue with darker blue sections to show waves and, and water splashing up through the chest. 
as it goes down, it's going to go to um, to more of a darker blue, and then back to transparent blues, transparent greens to represent you know seaweed and and stuff underneath it. Mm -hmm.